we know that adverbs describe a verb, an adjective, or another adverb, and that they give more meaning and information to a sentence. Now, we have also learned that the type of adverb determines its position in a sentence. So, let us look at this sentence. We went out for a walk later. Now, in this sentence, later is an adverb of time. And we see that adverbs of time are usually placed at the end of a sentence. Now, we can also say, later we went out for a walk. So, later, which is the adverb of time, can also be placed at the beginning of a sentence. Now, we have already learnt that when a verb has two parts, we usually place the adverb between the auxiliary verb and the main verb. So, can we say, Dan has yesterday arrived? Can we place yesterday, which is an adverb of time, in between has and arrived? No, this is not correct. We cannot place yesterday, which is an adverb of time, like this. We will place it as Dan has arrived yesterday. Having said that, can we say Dan has arrived already? No. In this case, this placement is not correct. The correct placement would be Dan has already arrived. So we see that only adverbs of time such as already still can be placed in between the auxiliary verb and the main verb. Now let us do this exercise. Rewrite the sentence correctly. Mom is now calling the doctor. Now let us first identify the verb in this sentence. The verb here is, is calling. So we see that the verb has two parts. The auxiliary verb is and the main verb calling. And the adverb used here is now, which is an adverb of time. Now, we have already learned that we cannot place an adverb of time unless it is already or still in between the auxiliary verb and the main verb. So, we have to place it somewhere else in a sentence. Now, we cannot also place it after calling because we know we have learnt it in the general rules that we cannot place an adverb in between the verb and the object. The doctor here is the object. So, we cannot place the adverb here. So, what will be the correct placement of the adverb? It will be mom is calling the doctor now. We have placed the adverb of time now at the end of the sentence. So, what did we learn today? Today we have learnt about the various placement rules of adverb of time in a sentence. We have seen that adverbs of time can be placed either at the end of the sentence or at the beginning of the sentence depending on the emphasis that we want to put on the adverb. We have also learnt that only adverbs of time like already and still can be placed between the auxiliary verb and the main verb. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to get all learning resources as per ICSC, CBSC, IB, Cambridge or any other curriculum. Over 5000 amazing lectures across maths, science, English and social science. Our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our iDictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept. Master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions. Get instant answers and detailed solutions. Be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests, performance analysis with actionable feedback, personal tutors to resolve your slightest of doubts. That's not all. You can also win amazing prizes like PlayStation, iPad, watches and many more along with certificates 
through our Earn As You Learn program. So learning at Delta Step is not just fun and easy, it is also rewarding. So register for free now.